Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on the concept of rest and motion in physics. By the end of this video, students would be able to define terms like rest and motion. They would also be able to understand why motion is relative. I have given links related to this topic in the description box, so do check them out for more information. Now, if you look around, then you might find some things moving and some things not moving at all. Moving things around us includes cars, buses, trains, birds, animals, human beings, etc. All these things moves from one place to another. Apart from these examples, things are in motion inside of our body too. For example, blood moves through blood vessels. Our muscles move when we work or play. heart pumping blood and many more such examples can be found in nature. We do not see these motions but we know about them from their effect because our life depends on heart pumping blood and we need muscles movement to perform various tasks. So we can say that motion occur due to movement of a body. Now let's talk about some objects like a tree house, school, electric, pole, etc. These objects are stationary objects. Now they remain fixed at their position. From these examples, we can say that few things around us are moving and few of them are stationary. Let us now define terms rest and motion. A body is said to be at rest if its position does not change with the passage of time. If the position of an object changes with the passage of time, it is said to be in motion. One common feature of all moving bodies is that they change their position with time. The position of a body is known by its surroundings so for a book kept on a table inside a room the table walls and ceiling of room make the surrounding to be more precise the state of motion or state of rest of a body should be defined with respect to its surroundings As an example, look at the book lying on the table in a room. When nobody is near it, then the position of the book with respect to tabletop, walls or ceiling of the room is not changing. So, the book as seen from the room is at rest. We can say that book is at rest with respect to the room. Now you enter the room, pick the book and begin to move out of the room with the book. Now in this case, distance of the book from the walls changes as the time passes. So the book is in motion with respect to the room. Now let us look at the fact that both rest and motion are relative. This statement means that any object which is in motion with respect to one person or object might be at rest 
विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अनदर पर्सन और ऑब्जेक्ट For example consider the case of book kept on the table now you picked up the book and started moving now this book in your hand when you are moving is at rest but the same book is in motion or moving with respect to walls of the room to get more clarity on this statement let us take a case of a person observing another person inside a hot air balloon now for a person a who is observing another person b in hot air balloon from the ground the person b is in motion with respect to him or ground now the same person b is at rest with respect to the hot air balloon or another person say person c sitting beside him in hot air balloon this is because both of them are sitting inside the balloon and both are not moving with respect to each other as time passes so both rest and motion are relative and depend on with respect to which object or body we are observing it I hope you now understand the concept of rest and motion. You are now aware of the fact that both rest and motion are relative. Thanks for watching.